a rough shooting night overall? Yeah, um, Lou is Lou. Um, he brings that every night. That's um, so what he hangs his hat on. That's what we need from him. Um, he delivered for sure. Monday's game was a little bit more of a shootout, high tempo. Tonight was more of like a grind out game. What did you think about the way you guys, the youngest team in the league, were able to handle both of those um, situations? Yeah, um, I think we, we executed really well um, late, especially both in those games. Um, first one was a little bit more up and down. This one was more controlled, like you said. Um, but we stuck to our principles throughout both of them. Uh, and then tallest guy on the floor, Poku, is diving on the floor for a loose ball, ends up in a, in a loop dunk. Just, mm -hmm. I don't know, you take on that sequence. And there, it seemed like there were so many of those types of plays tonight from your group. Yeah. Um, we know uh, to win games and stuff like that, we, we have to win 50-50 balls. We got to box out. We got to do all the little things. Um, and Poku's just an example on that possession. Um, but we all need that for 48 minutes to, to win games. You guys are trusting j more and more in these clutch situations. And earlier this season, he talked about how he doesn't see 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 himself as a rookie. Do you get that same feeling being around him? Um, yeah, he's mature. He works hard. Um, and he just takes it day by day and has fun with the process. Um, and I think as long as he keeps that mentality, he'll keep getting better. Um, and he'll be impressive for sure. The MVP chants for you are getting louder and louder. <laughs> and earlier this season, you talked about it feeling like a video game. Does it ever become surreal that you're getting those loud MVP chants? Um, I will say I'm getting more used to them as as they continue. Um, but it's always it's always always fun and always a moment you you soak up and you you appreciate for sure. Shea, you get a lot of the highlight plays, you get the 30-point games, but a guy who doesn't get as many of those is Kendrick Williams. Can you just talk about his important, this, importance to this team and what he means to you guys? Yeah, um, K. Rich does all the little things. Um, he scores when he needs to. Um, he guards the team's best player a lot of the times. Um, he's one of the older guys on the team, a vocal leader. Um, guy to be around. Um, he does so many things for us on and off the court, um, and I think he knows that. Um, he embraces that leadership role, and he's great for us. And then you've already been on two different playoff teams. You're now the vet on a team full of young guys. How do you think the guys are progressing in terms of just learning how to win basketball games? Um, I think especially in the past two nights, we've for sure gotten better. Uh, and that's our goal, is to get better at, at certain areas throughout the season, and then uh, we'll be a better team on the, the end of the season over to start. Uh, speaking of the playoffs, Shea, Mark's talked about how these are kind of like mini playoff series, series for a young team. Well, what have you seen in terms of how hard it is to get two straight wins against the same team and kind of adjust to their counter punches? Um, I've been in a few series myself, um, so I know what that's like. Uh, but it's a challenge for sure. Um, and I, like I said, I think we, we responded well tonight. Um, ups and downs. We were up, they were down, vice versa. Um, I think we were disciplined and we stuck to our game plan for both games. Shay, I'll start voting open yesterday. I know it's not the forefront of your guys' mind, but what would it mean to you to be selected for your first All-Star game this season? Yeah, um, it would be an honor. Um, something that I know I dream about, but if not, every kid in the world dreams about um, playing basketball. Um, it would be an honor. It would be fun for sure. Anybody else? Thanks, Shay.